What it is, Tubies, Ryan Anthony, man. Uh, another day at the gym, man. Leg day. So you know my mood irritated, but uh, but I feel good though. Uh, yeah, man. Let's get on this boxing though. Uh, I said I was gonna do my homework on Luis Lo uh, Alberto Lopez versus uh Michael Conley. Which is gonna be on May 27th. I think it's gonna be on the uh, uh, Mauricio Laura and Laywood Court. All five fights. Man, the 126, 126 division is like. Man, I think everybody need to take notes from that division. Beyond from the little guys, shout out to the shorties, you know. To the little guys, man, everybody fighting each other, man. It's. Yeah, man. Ain't, 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 ain't no record safe, man. And I can't wait till Raymond Ford get his uh, just do. But anyways, Luis Lopez and uh, Michael Conlon. I think uh, I saw Luis Lopez. I watched, did some homework on him, watch him against uh, Josh Warrington. Uh, yeah, man, I think uh, I think I'm leaning towards Michael Conlon. Michael Conlon lost to uh, Laywood. Got caught with a little, you know, flat. Got knocked out between the ropes, too. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, and Michael Conlon look like he on the he on the he on the revenge tour, man. He trying to get all that back. You know what I'm saying? Um, because Michael Conlon actually a, a solid boxer, man. He's solid. He's solid, and I'm picking him to win. Uh, to beat Luis Lopez for this is gonna be for the IBF featherweight title. Uh, for the IBF. Uh, yeah, I'm picking him to win this, man. Uh. Luis Lopez remind me of a Prince Nassim, man. He very awkward, you know, elusive, keep his hands down, but he open for he he open for a left and right hook all day. It's like you can land it on him easily, you know what I'm saying? And I think uh, Josh Warrington, he had like moments where he could have put him out, but I don't think Josh Warrington got enough power, you know what I'm saying, to to get a person like Luis Lopez respect, you know what I'm saying? I give uh I give credit to uh Lopez, man. He he, com he coming. Like he ain't doing no running around or none of that. He he swing from awkward angles, uh, all all type of shit like that. <laughs> he fight just like Prince Nassim, man. He fight, he fight just like him, man. I ain't bull. Man. I ain't bullshit. Like he fight just like him. Um but he is his defense and, and me me defense wins championships man and i mean he got the belt he got the belt whatever respect to him for reaching that pinnacle but man to if you ain't got no defense to certain fighters man cuz what happens when you know a person with a you know with the top notch defense but also with the offense to match it you, 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 you know what I'm saying? You bound to lose. And I feel like uh, Michael Conlon is that one. I think Michael Conlon finna get that back, man. Come to think about it, man, Ireland got some nice boxers to me, man. I like Katie Taylor. I like I like Michael Conlon. I like this little new dude, Cully. Um, who else Ireland that I like, man? Island fighters, man, nice, man. They nice. They nice, man. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm leaning towards Michael Conlon. Michael Conlon, uh, he, he just gotta bring his skills. Just bring his skills to the thing. I th just bring his skills to the match. I think he gonna win easy, man. Like, like, like I say, Luis Lopez, he got the belt or whatever. So I don't see him changing anything. Uh. He, why would you switch anything that, that you know what I'm saying, that, that worked for you, that Prince Nassim? And I think it's going to look just like when Prince Nassim went against uh, Antonio Barrera. Everybody had Prince Nassim beating him, and Barrera came in with a whole different game plan. He just boxed. He used the fundamentals on him, and it was a wrap. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Prince Nassim had nothing for him, and I feel like Lu Luis Lopez, he got the same. He, he boxed awkward, keep his hands down, be coming in. Coming in all crazy with this, not with his hands up. He easy to get hit. It's easy to hit him. He, I mean, he elusive, but he ain't slipping that many punches. As soon as he come in, he coming in with his head up, his chin exposed. So it's like when I watched him and uh, Josh Warrington, Josh Warrington was landing everything. 
You know what I'm saying? He was landing everything on him. Um, and yeah, I think Michael Conley can bring that same formula in our. You know what I'm saying? I think Michael Conley got a, probably a little bit more power than than Josh Warrington do. And I think uh, uh, if Michael Conley land that one, that one punch that uh make a uh, to make Luis Lopez a little hesitant, oh yeah, he got him. He got him. But uh, Luis Lopez, he got he got that fight in him, man. He he a Mexican for real. Like <laughs> he got that fight in him, man. He ain't finna go. He ain't just finna give it give it in. He ain't even finna give up. You know what I'm saying? So I think it might go to the school course, but I think Michael Collins can hurt him, man. If he just bring the fundamentals to the game, make I think just the reenactment of uh Prison I seen and Antonio Barrera, man. And we saw how easy Barrera made their fight. Like, he made their easy work. And just with the fundamentals. All he stuck with was with the jab. You know what I'm saying? One, two. He went to the body. Something when he came to the inside, he was combinations, counter punching. You know what I'm saying? Keeping his keeping his guards up. You know what I'm saying? Jabbing, bringing it back. He was just sticking. Wasn't letting him get off with no awkward shit. None of that. And making him pay. Every time he threw something awkward, leaving his chin exposed, he made him pay. And I think if Michael Conley, Michael Conley got them skills, that he that, uh, he can bring that same thing to the table. He can make him pay every time he make a mistake. He make too many mistakes. Uh... But I mean, it, it got him. It got him this far. But I mean, hey, hey. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta switch it up when you in there with elites, man. Sometimes you gotta switch that shit up. Uh, I don't see him switching it up because ain't nobody made him switch it up neither. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna take that one punch that really, you know. But yeah, I, I'm leaning towards Michael Conlon, man. It's gonna be a good fight. That's gonna that's gonna be a good night, man. I like it. One twenty six getting busy. One twenty six is getting busy. Got Ray Vargas. I got I think I'm. Nah, I, mean, I ain't make a video on that. I made a video on one thirty. One thirty. One thirty nights too. Well, Ray. Um. Um. um one twenty six getting busy, man. You got Ray Vargas as a champion. You got Luis Lopez as a champion. You got uh, uh Mauricio Lara as a champion. Uh. uh Hey, who else is the champion there, man? Uh, uh, is it Rosie Ramirez? Or is he in one thirty? No, I think it's Rosie Ramirez. Yeah, one Rosie Ramirez in one twenty six too. Yeah, yeah, yup, yup, Rosie Ramirez one twenty six. Ah, oh, yeah, that's nice. And then you got Raymond Ford. You got Raymond Forbes, Josh Warrington still in the mix. You got, you know what I'm saying? Michael Collins trying to get back in the mix. And, man, they better watch out for uh my man's uh Victor Morales Jr., man. He up in there. He, he, he finna, I think he can, he could give some of them dudes some smoke. Um, Yeah, man. 126 is some uh, weight class to look out for, y'all. For real. For real. For real. But yeah, man, that's all I got. I got Michael Conley. You know what I'm saying? Ready, getting ready for this Canelo rider. Uh, I think Canelo gonna win easy. Uh, but we gonna see, man. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, check out my shows if you into working out. Like I say every video, if you view for 15 seconds or you get all the way through, I appreciate it. But to all my subscribers, it's all love, Ryan Anthony. I'm out.